Professor Halix's Digital Dental Depository, with support from Philip Sonicare. <laughs> To honour great Uncle Halitosis, dentist extraordinaire, on the occasion of his 100th birthday, Professor Halix is creating a pop-up digital dental depository, an oral health help desk. He's going to see how many questions all about teeth he can answer against the clock. Give us a hand, will you, Nanobot? The turbine needs winding. Here you go. You can ask the questions. Today, they're all about the bugs in our mouths. Bugs in our mouths? What on earth do you mean by bugs? What I mean by bugs is microorganisms such as bacteria, tiny living things which make a home in all sorts of places on earth and that includes mouths. Bacteria collect everywhere in the mouth and not just on the teeth and gums. They often cover parts of the cheeks and the back of the throat. They can also live in between all the bumps and ridges found on the tongue. Mm, not keen on that. So. Bacteria, horrible germs, which make us sick. True or false? False! Most bacteria are harmless, and many are even helpful to us. Only a small proportion of bacteria make us poorly. There are typically over 70 different types of bacteria in the mouth. Most of them occur naturally, doing you no harm at all. There are, however, some bacteria that can damage our teeth and gums and cause problems like bad breath. You're doing great! Next up, how do these bugs cause damage? It's all because of plaque. A plaque attack! If you don't brush your teeth, millions of bacteria can collect in a sticky substance called plaque. That's the yellow coating you sometimes see on your teeth. If you run your tongue around your teeth before you brush your teeth, you might be able to feel it. Some bacteria love to digest the sugar in our mouth. As they eat, they increase in number and produce acids that break down the surface of your teeth. If not removed, plaque can completely destroy the outside of the tooth and expose the nerves inside. And that's toothache. The more plaque you have, the more of these harmful substances are in contact with your teeth and gums. Oh, better hurry. What's the best way to see off plaque attack and keep the harmful bugs at bay? Proper brushing, flossing and using antibacterial mouthwashes can reduce the number of bacteria that build up in specific areas between the teeth and along the gum line. They'll reduce the plaque and help keep your teeth and gums safe and strong. And finally, for a bonus point, what about tongue brush? Well, as we've seen, bacteria are all over our mouths. And there's no point just focusing on getting rid of those on our teeth and gums. Using a tongue brush helps remove those lurking in the ridges on your tongue. That's correct. And time's up. Brilliant, Professor. Very respectable score there. And lots of data for our digital dental depository. Professor Halix's Digital Dental Depository with support from Philip Sonicare. Find out more at funkidslive.com slash